hi guys so today i'm in my kitchen i'm trying to cook for my family here so we're gonna be at least uh actually i'm cooking and we're gonna be talking and today's topic is so interesting because um uh some of you are so funny and today i just wanted to make this video actually to share with you let's talk about this because some of you have been asking asking me can you tell us your experience uh, while you are dating Turkish guys uh, Turkish guys Turkish people so selfish uh, so in today's video we are talking about are Turkish people stingy are they selfish in terms of money in terms of giving in terms of actually being generous and kind uh, so let's talk about this as girls, as ladies, you know, if you don't know me, my name is Phoebe. We normally talk women related stuff in terms of money, beauty. Uh, also, we share more about Turkey, Turkish culture, Turkish people, relationships here, products here and all those good stuff. So welcome to my channel. So now uh, when I first uh, saw this question, I was like, yeah. <laughs> So I conducted, a, um, I actually conducted a pool or I did uh, ask some questions. Those who have dated Turkish guys, uh, do they agree that Turkish people or Turkish guys are really, really stingy when it comes to money? And I'm not saying that, uh, um, I'm not trying to say this, to say that it is all Turkish people or Turkish men. But at least I got results, different results. And the results are amazing and also shocking. 80% of you say that Turkish men are very stingy. <laughs> my brothers who are in Turkey, my, my Turkish brothers, Abby, <laughs> you're going to forgive me for today because I want to reveal the truth, what people said. 80% uh, of the girls who dated Turkish guys, uh, they say that Turkish men are very, very, very stingy. I don't know how this is uh, going to be, but for me, I'm going to share my experience. I'm going to give you a little story about dating a Turkish guy who was generously stingy. When I mean stingy, it's not about only money. I mean time. I mean um the, the, the being selfish uh, in terms of time in terms of support like when you need that friend and he's not there and you know very well that you are dating this guy is your man, and it doesn't show up so i'm going to give you a little story <laughs> i'm in my kitchen i'm cooking i'm making kofte this is Tur turkish kofte it is a mixture of um minced meat a mixture of some it is actually kizatma i love this turkish meal so for now i'm making kofte i minced to me to me uh, onions and uh, coriander and salt so a lot of you said uh turkish men are very stingy so this is the story that i want to share with you so during my working um days before not now now i'm married i'm a good girl so there was this guy where i was working i won't be mentioning the country uh there was this guy um we were talking talking and then we started dating not even dating some casual dating some sort of casual dating so he used to tell me that i'm his girlfriend even though i was not sure and uh, by the way we were not doing anything um like being together or something we were just casual dating going for coffee uh and blah 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 so there was this time uh after my work it was i remember uh it was on a friday so i told him uh because today i'm not working let's go and have uh some coffee outside you, if you don't know turkish people love really really they really love uh, turkish coffee so we went we drank the Turkish coffee, had a conversation, I paid, and then um, we went back home. 
I did not take uh, much of time. Remember when I'm going for a date, I don't normally take much of your time. I just um, take a little time and then go back to my home or to my place. So I went back to my place. At the next time when we went for uh, for what uh, for a date, he was the one who invited me for a dinner date. So I dressed up nicely. Then we left. I booked my Uber, then went where he was. Uh, it was a nice hotel, not even a, a restaurant. After eating, <laughs> it was time to pay. Remember, he was the one who was inviting me. So I ate, I drank, and then uh, it was time to pay. And the guy just walked up and told uh, the waiter uh, he's going to the toilet. No, no, no. Remember that time uh, I was just sitting with him there. So I was waiting for him to pay uh, before we go outside because I had told him I have some stuff I need to do. We were going also for shopping. So the guy uh, just walked up and then told me, uh, let me go to the toilet. I'm coming back. And remember the waiter is uh, there, he's waiting for me, for us, to give the money so that uh, we can leave. We already eaten, we already done everything, now it's time to go. And for me, I thought maybe because I've been paying the small bills whenever we go outside for coffee or something, he's gonna pay. Did you know what he did? <laughs> he never came back. He never returned back. He went and went and went. <laughs> I was left there. So because I'm a good girl, I normally work with some cash. So that day I had some money with me. That's why I always tell you, if you're going for a date, make sure that you eat at home. Don't go and eat everything or order everything. And also <laughs> carry some cash. So I had some money, I pretended nothing happened, paid, and then I drove myself home. When I reached at my place, he called me and started telling me, oh, I'm really sorry, I had an emergency at work, so I had to return, I did not uh, tell you I'm going. I met another friend, and then uh, we just drove in that car, I did not want to upset you. I told him, okay, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, no problem, I understand. The next minute, what I did, I blocked him. <laughs> I don't like stingy people. How could you? Without even telling me anything, he just left as if I was no, nothing. And he's the one who had invited me. No, not for me. Not another time. So that was my experience. Now I'm going to tell you another story about a Turkish man who I never met in, in, in his life for the past four years. We met online while I was still uh, dating. So we dated after two months. There was a problem at home in my country. So this guy asked me, why are you uh, sad? What happened? He insisted, and then I told him what happened in my home. So he offered to send me some money. Then uh, he sent me uh, via Western Union. I got the money, and then we continued dating, talking, and I never saw him. For just to make the story short, for the four years we dated, whenever I had a problem, not even whenever I had a problem, he could send me money for upkeep, just without asking him. He could send me money, I could go for shopping, do stuff at home, and I had my own money. At some point, I never asked him money, but he could just send for me. And when we met, what happened was he proposed, and then we became husband and wife, and that's why I'm here. My husband, this Turkish husband, when I was still in Kenya, he used to send me money. When I was abroad, he used to send me money, even though I was working. So, what am I trying to say? 
what I'm trying to say is that being stingy or selfish is a personal thing. So the food is ready. Uh, it's cooling down so that we can enjoy. So while I wind up this video, what I wanted to tell or to say is if you ask me, are Turkish people, Turkish men actually uh, selfish? Are they stingy? Uh, what I want to tell you is that it depends uh, on someone's character. We have those who are just bad, they are stingy, they are born stingy, they cannot spend anything on a girl, even a little bit. And we have those who are just generous and extra generous. And majority of Turkish people are so welcoming, they are so good, they are so uh so generous in terms of giving i have seen a lot of turkish people who are just uh they don't know you but they want to offer something for you to eat or to drink or something even when you visit their homes they want at least to welcome you with a cup of chai or a cup of tea or coffee so for me if you ask me most turkish people are so welcoming and they are not selfish now about dating a stingy guy for me, I always find it so difficult. If you are a stingy person, my friend, I give it a block. You, you eat a block. You, I block you immediately. Because for what purpose? You have a boyfriend or a friend. Let's not even talk about uh, a, a friend or something. You know that this person, you are in love with the person and you, you have a problem or there is something that you need, but you have to you have to use different kinds of tricks for you or for him to help you this is not a, a good person uh, like uh, how can you survive in such a situation or a relationship like for instance something happens for you in uh, to, to you and we all need support we all need uh, someone to support us in one way or another and not only about money this person when you are dating a stingy person, he won't even help you in terms of, uh, he won't give you time. He won't spend time with you. He doesn't want to spend on you. He will avoid even uh, spending little amount on you. So it is so interesting to hear those girls who have dated Turkish guys telling me that they have not uh, or they cannot um, talk good about Turkish guys. Of course, I know. And there are so many various, uh, various, various reasons why a guy won't spend on you or why a guy, a Turkish guy won't spend on you. Some of the reason is the economy. You can be blaming. Maybe the person is just a good person. But the economy of Turkey is not good. The lira is going down each and every day. And uh, maybe he's not working. Maybe he is not into you. He doesn't love you. Most of the Turkish men I know that uh, they are family men. Uh, they are so giving. They are so giving in terms of family wise. They make time for their wives they help their wife they support their wives but if you are just roaming around with these little turkish boys here and there who are depending on their mamas my friend you're gonna suffer in fact you will be the one uh paying for everything whenever you go remember i told you the story about this uh, turkish guy the first one he was younger very young and he he was all over telling me how he loves me and how he calls me Ashkam. He want to spend the rest of his life with me. And we were so close, but he never spent a little, a damn, even a coin on me. He never did. Not because he doesn't have money, he had. And even if I did not ask, some gesture, like just buying someone something or just, just, just paying a little bit. It shows somehow you are supportive. But when you go with a guy, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't give you even any support. Then that guy, you don't need him. You don't need that guy. Someone who cannot support you financially, emotionally, or in any way. You don't need that guy. For what reason? Uh, call me a gold digger or something or call me wherever you want to call me but for me a stingy person is a no let me be honest i don't date uh, i don't like people who are selfish selfish in a way that you have a problem they won't help you 
you don't have a problem but they don't show you any kind of generosity they won't even try they just want you to spend on them but they won't spend on you for me it is an ex i won't do that so uh for those who have been asking me are turkish men actually uh generous or stingy i have to tell you it depends it depends on everybody's character we have those who are extra generous those who are extra stingy so in short if you're dating a stingy man please uh, you must know that he won't be taking you anywhere just drop that man alone leave that man and uh, find someone who is generous someone who can support you uh, in terms of uh, building yourself in terms of supporting you financially emotionally when you are down when you need him uh, try to find such kind of a person uh, like I said uh, being stingy or being selfish is something that is personal uh, personal character not all Turkish men are stingy not all of them they are selfish uh, most of them they do uh, good things to women in terms of giving in terms of being a family man uh, family oriented so if you find that you are dating a Turkish man who is who is stingy extremely stingy you must understand that he doesn't love you and it is about time for you to start rethinking about your relationship because if you have stayed with a person for more than six months and then he doesn't do anything he doesn't even want to spend on you he doesn't even say anything or he doesn't want even to take you out for a coffee or just to do anything then that man is selfish he is selfish <laughs> can you imagine staying with him with such a person if he cannot even support you uh when you are away when you are with him will he do that for instance if you are in a long distance relationship maybe you are dating um you are from kenya let's say from kenya and you want to come here for marriage and you are dating a stingy turkish man and then when it comes to time of uh, paying the flight and finding everything, will he do that? Will he support you? My friend, you just have to rethink and make your own conclusion. Otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed this short video. Until next time again, if you're liking my content and you want to see me talking more about uh, stuff here, uh, do me a favor kindly like this video subscribe to my channel support this channel so that we can actually uh, grow Just for me to make more content and bring you good content tell me what do you want me to actually bring you from turkey until next time again i'll see you bye bye